This is Three Bridges Signalling Centre, one of a new generation of power signalling installations covering hundreds of track miles of railway. Many of the multiple aspect colour light signals within a signalling area like this one are automatic. That is to say, controlled by the passage of trains. In emergency or in exceptional circumstances, it may be necessary to replace an automatic signal to danger and hand signal traffic according to the signalman's instructions. If you are required to carry out this duty, first go to the office or other location where emergency equipment is to be found. Take a set of flags, a canister of detonators, remembering to check the contents, and the signal replacement key. Don't forget to wear your high visibility vest and make your way to the signal you have been instructed to replace and flag. On arrival at the signal, telephone the signalman and come to a clear understanding. Hi, signalman. Yeah, and signalman on T29. Would it be alright to clear this signal back to danger now? Right, will do. Hello, signalman. T29, back to danger. Okay? I'm back to once the signal has been keyed to danger, you must display the red flag to oncoming trains. As each train arrives and stops at the signal, you must obtain instructions from the signalman. Listen carefully and pass the precise instructions to the driver. Morning, driver. Go to track failure. I'll just get on the signal and see what's happening. Hello, Signalman, and Signalman on T29, I'm going to throw you down. Thank you. Driver, pass T29 at danger, proceed with caution, obey all other signals, please. Once the signalman has authorised the train to pass the signal at danger, exhibit the yellow flag to the driver and to the guard. Let's watch the whole procedure again as a second train approaches. Danger, proceed with caution, obey all other signals, please. When the signalman requires the signal return to automatic working, 
turn the replacement switch to auto and inform the signalman of the aspect displayed. Hello signalman, and signalman on T29. You want me to key this signal back to auto? Okay, I'll get back to auto and get back to you. T29 showing two yellows, preliminary caution. Thank you. Bye bye now. The type of signal we have been looking at has the cross shaped replacement switch socket. Now let's look at the older type with triangular socket. The key for this type is quite different. Hello, Sigmund, and Sigmund just arrived on T46. You want me to keep it back to red now? We'll do. Hello, signalman. Yeah, signal's being key to danger. Now let's look at the main points again. When you arrive at the signal which is to be flagged, come to a clear understanding with the signalman. Exhibit a red flag at all times except when authorising a train to proceed. After dark, during fog or falling snow, use a bardic hand lamp instead of flags. Listen carefully to the signalman and relay his instructions to the driver precisely. Driver, pass T29 at danger, proceed with caution by all other signals, please. When authorising a driver to pass a signal at danger, exhibit a yellow hand signal and always tell him to proceed at caution. When hand signalling has ended and the signal is keyed to automatic, inform the signalman of the signal aspect displayed. Hello, signalman. Yeah, signal T46, keyed back to auto and showing one yellow uh, proceed, uh, caution aspect. Automatic signal replacement switches are sometimes located adjacent to the signal phone, sometimes on the nearby location cabinet, and sometimes on the signal post itself. In certain circumstances, you will need to place a detonator on the approach to a signal being flagged. Finally, don't forget to return all the equipment when hand signaling duties are completed.